Today, we're going to focus on how to measure, cut, and form a patch panel. But first, we have to cut out all the old rust. After cutting out the rust and fixing up the inner panel by welding in a piece, seam sealing it, and priming it, we're now ready for the patch. When starting out, you're going to make sure your patch is a little bit too big. So in this case, we're going to measure 20. It's about a quarter inch longer on both ends. So 20 by about three and a half, because we need some to bend under. So three and a half or three quarters. After cutting the piece of metal, and this happens to be 20 gauge, we're going to hold it up there and make sure that we have enough to bend underneath. And then we're just going to pull it away and mark and put a mark and pull it away and put a mark and just sort of follow those marks around <clears throat> like that and again you're may always checking this right here and then I'm just going to come down here and check this and move it away and just follow it along like that and I gave myself about a quarter inch right there overlap but once we get this cut then we can cut down a little bit more and get it real close so you really only have about an eighth to a quarter inch overlap after you have your pattern drawn out you can cut it with a good tin snips After trimming our patch up so that it fits real well, we're going to hold it into place and the first weld is going to be right here, right there, because that's a very critical weld. Too, this is too high, we don't have enough, that's too low, we got to have it right, right there so there's enough to bend over and there's enough to go up there. Now, I'm going to get a close-up view so that you can see there's a couple of things we can do. We can overlap it right there or we can grind away a little bit so that this fits flush. And here's a real close-up shot of that spot. And like I said, you can overlap it and then knock that down. Or you can grind a little taper right there on that point, on that edge, like this. And now, when you weld this guy and clamp it real tight it's that corner that is going to be flush all along and here's a close-up shot of that first weld we tapered the corner here a little bit and when we shove this metal up in there this is going to be flush it actually almost steps down right here so that'll be our first weld then the same will be on the other side and then we'll come around and get this and then we'll fold this part over and now we have an inexpensive bending brake from Harbor Freight and I'm just going to put a little bit of a body line in this so that when I weld it it has an easier time following the contour of the fender and that should be good enough now that it's clamped in place on both ends, we're ready for our first welds. The body line is straight and I know that it's supposed to be curved, but I think it will help out because I won't have to press so hard to get this down before it was going straight up. So let's do our first weld right here and right here.
Now that the top is welded, we can work on the bottom. And the inner panel is right, so we're going to fold it over the inner panel, but I'd like to mark it out here so I can make sure. So we can measure. Just go like that and just go along and I'm just measuring to the inner panel and I can follow this with a piece of tape and we can go like this and then cut slots up to that tape and fold it over but get this nice and straight this part first or we can take the old trim molding and hold that guy up there and trace and both ways we got the dots or the trim molding so we're I'll lay a piece of tape on there. And that should be good enough. And then we're going to use this as a guide to what we cut off. That's about three quarters of an inch. That's good enough. And we're going to cut off this excess. But we got to get the red handled one, which is right here. And I'm going to be in the way of the camera, but this guy goes like like that. So we're just going to take this off. To that and that'll bend over and that'll bend over and that and that guy and that guy and that and that and then we'll take the body hammer and just start to well just so that we don't mess it up yeah we'll bend it first with the pliers bend those guys over so that it matches up with the inner panel. We can weld that to the inner panel by drilling holes and welding through the holes and then we'll weld up those slots. Once I get that done, I'll be back. After finishing the welding, we'll check to make sure the trim fits. And it fits pretty well. So now, we'll grind the area clean, clean up these welds, tap the patch down, fill it, sand it, prime it, block it, and paint it. I hope you enjoyed this video on measuring, cutting, fitting, and welding a patch into place. And if you did, 
and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.